Hello students, welcome back. In this part, we will be le um, learning about how to calculate mean deviation about mean and median for case 3 which is group frequency distribution. So the example is calculate mean deviation uh, from mean and mean deviation from median in the following data. Now this is the data given as you know it's a group frequency distribution so for finding out mean deviation about mean and mean deviation about median we first need to calculate mean value and median value so for f first of all we need to calculate mean and median and for mean and median i have made this column now since it is a group frequency distribution so we first have to find out x value which is the midpoint value so midpoint value is calculated as 2 plus 4 divided by 2 which gives us 3 so as 4 plus 6 divided by 2 gives us 5 6 plus 8 divided by 2 7 8 plus 10 divided by 2 9 10 plus 12 divided by 2 gives us 11 and since we also need to find out median so I here I have made a cumulative frequency less than column as well so for mean what the first thing is the formula is summation fx divided by sum of f so here is the column for fx that is 3 times 2 5 times 3 7 times 6 9 times 2 11 times 1 so here's the column 6 15 42 18 and 9 and 11 so if you just add all these values we get a total of 92 okay so mean is 6.57 so for median value we first need to find out the median class and median class is calculated by using this part of the formula which is summation f by 2 Alright, so I have done this work directly out here. You can just verify this answer by just following each and every step of calculating median. So in this case, the median value is 6.5. So now we need to find out mean deviation about mean and mean deviation about median. So the mean value is 6.57 and median value is 6.7. Alright. Now, 6.57, okay, so 6.57 if you are talking about this value, so x modulus absolute value of x minus 6.57 and um, f into modulus of x minus 6.57. Now, x is this, now x out here is basically we are talking about midpoints because this case is group frequency distribution and in group frequency distribution x if you wanted to find out that means the midpoints so here 3 minus the midpoint 3 which we have already calculated earlier 3 minus 6.7 is 3.57 since we are already used absolute values that means this negative will all will be converted into positive value 5 minus 6.57 is 1.57 absoluted value so it is positive 7 minus 6.57 is 0.43 it is already a positive value so absolute value will all will be positive as it is okay so 9 minus 6.57 2.43 11 minus 6.57 is 4.43 next step is to multiply this column with frequency so 2 multiplied by 3.57 is 7.14 3 multiplied by 1.57 4.71 okay it's 0 0.71 6 multiplied by 0 0.43 gives us 2.58 2 multiplied by 2.43 is 4.86 and 1 multiplied by 4.43 is 4.43 so the total of all these value all this column the all these values in this column is 23.72 now we're going to do the same thing for median value as well since the median value is 6.7 so 3 minus 6.7 is 3.7 5 minus 6.7 is 1.7 7 minus 6.7 is 0 0.3 9 minus 6.7 is 2.3 and 11 minus 6.7 is 4.3 now we're going to multiply these absoluted values with its frequency so 3.7 multiplied by 2 gives us 7.4 3 multiplied by 1.7 gives us 
6 multiplied by 0.3 gives us 1.8 2 multiplied by 2.3 gives us 4.6 and 1 multiplied by 4.3 gives us 4.3 now that brings us to the total of 23.2. How the total is calculated? You just add all these values and the total is 23.2. The final thing is that we need to put all these things in the formula. So after putting it in the formula 23.72 divided by 14, the answer is mean deviation about mean is 1.69. And for mean deviation about median, the value is 1.66. Alright, so this is how you calculated mean deviation about mean and mean deviation about median for a group frequency distribution. Whenever you're calculating deviations about mean or about median, the first thing is that you need to calculate mean and median for that case. That is for that type of um, data okay you need to find out its mean you need to find out its median if both are asked then we will be using this formula okay so the first and initial step is to find out mean value and to find out median value then we will be multiplying if simple frequency distribution is given as in this case we're going to multiply these absoluted values x minus x bar absoluted value from f now x for third case for case 3 is basically we're talking about midpoints because the observations are divided into classes all right so we need to have a midpoint so we can proceed further so the first step is you need to find out mean for case 3 mean value for x that is x will be midpoint so you need to make a separate column of midpoint first then you'll find out its median then you'll find out its mean and after that we will, be, we, we will be using the formula of mean deviation about mean and median which is summation f into x minus x bar now these are absoluted values divided by sum of f all right and then we will be solving it and uh, uh, do all the formulations and after that we'll, got, we'll get our answer so i hope that you have understood how mean deviation about mean and mean deviation about median is calculated for group frequency distribution thank you